What up, what up, what up? This is your boy, Mike the Philosopher, and this is the NFL Power Rankings. It's only right that we rank the NFL teams, all right? So let's get right on into it. I ain't gonna waste your time. Number one is the Cardinals. Now the Cardinals been doing pretty good. You know, as long as they got Kyler Murray, they got a chance. Plus they got some dope, some awesome receivers. You know, you got Hopkins, uh, Kirk, you got a lot of guys helping them out. Um, you also have a strong defense. You got Chandler Jones on the defensive side and some other help and their defense is good, which is explains why they're six and zero right now. Um, at the time of this recording, uh, they're doing very well. They're doing very good. And I see the Cardinals, um, you know, going to the playoffs. Do I see them in the Super Bowl? We'll see. But as of right now, I got Cardinals number one in the power rankings. And that is pretty official. Number two. Number two is the Rams. The Rams have just as good a defense, if not better. However, they have been uh, regressing a little bit since last season. But I still have faith in them. I still think they get the job done. You got uh, Jalen Ramsey on the corner. You got Aaron Donald on the line. I mean, look, they're, they're, they're loaded on defense. And if they lose anything, I don't think it's going to be on the defense. However, the offense is, uh, is pretty good, too. They got some strong receivers, Woods, Cooper Cup. You know, uh, they got some, even Higby. So they got a lot of receivers um, that are pretty good. And they got a new quarterback this year with Matthew Stafford. So for that reason, I got the Rams at number two. Number three are the Bills. Um, I know people might not agree with this, but I, I just see the Bills being very strong. Look, um, you got uh, Josh Allen. He He's lights out. And, you know, he got some extra help with the receivers. I mean, he got some decent running backs. I wouldn't call them elite running backs or anything, Singletary and Moss. But he got some decent running backs. And, you know, Buffalo defense is pretty darn good so um you know i could see them on any given day any given sunday as they say beating any team in the nfl uh, with the right circumstances they got the personnel to do it they got the talent to do it and that's why i got the bills at number three number four i got the bucks the buccaneers listen the Buccaneers, let's not forget that they're the Super Bowl champions, okay? Uh, let's not just, you know, forget that fact. I mean, they got, as they say, terrific Tom, right? Tom Brady. I never bet against Tom Brady. Never have. I probably won a lot of money because of that fact, but I never against, bet it against Brady. Uh, I don't care what the circumstances is. I'm not going to start now. But uh, I do got the Bucks at <clears throat> number four, but really because I seen that, you know, they didn't really have anything for the Rams. So that did drop them down a notch in the power rankings, but they still the champs. I got the Bucks at number four. Number five, I got the Packers. Now the Packers, um, okay, look, the first loss to the Saints opening day, that was a fluke, okay? It was still hung over from the off season and the Rodgers antics and will he be with the team, will he won't? And I mean, Rodgers played horribly that day. The defense didn't show up. It was a disaster. Uh, I just don't think that the coaches had them all the way ready for that game. Plus, they had to change venues. 
uh, they couldn't even play in New Orleans. They had to play in another city. Uh, I'm thinking Jacksonville. And, you know, it was just, uh, you know, every, everything that could go wrong really did. And I chalked that first one, the first L up as just a fluke. But I think the Packers are solid at number five. Number six, I got the Ravens. Look, Lamar Jackson is the truth, okay? This guy just has a, a, a knack for getting the job done. He he recently, I believe, broke a record for the most completion or the highest completion percentage with 400 yards. I mean, he's at like 80%. I mean, for those who doubt his arm, check the stats. I mean, the guy threw for 400 and and completed more passes than anybody in NFL history. That's some, that's saying something. Not only that, he got his legs. And he becomes a problem to a lot of people when he uses legs. Uh, you know, I do compare him to Mike Vick, but I really compare him to a fictitious character. I call him the real live Willie Beeman. That's what I call him. Um, he even looks like Willie Bean and Jamie a little bit in that. But anyway, I think that uh, they're doing well. And with Lamar, they can always win any given Sunday. The Ravens at number six. Number seven, I got the Chargers. Now, they got a guy over there named Herbert, right? And Allen and these guys... Mike Williams having a monster year. I don't know where I didn't really see that coming. I'm not sure what's going on with Allen because normally he's the he's the man, but um, Williams is 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 maybe because all the focus is on Allen that Williams is so successful. Because what I'm noticing now is a lot of teams are double teaming the primary receivers a lot of times. And I think Williams is a beneficiary of that because I think they're doing that with Allen. But uh, Williams is burning them. And let me tell you, Herbert is is the truth. I mean, this guy is a top-notch QB already. Fresh out of, fresh out of college. Uh, I mean, there was practically no uh, getting used to the the, the playbook or anything like that for him he was he was pretty much set it and forget it and that's that's beautiful for Charger fans and uh, he's playing lights out so I think that the Chargers I mean they got some decent running backs they got uh, Gordon uh, and, and, and um, uh, there's another guy they got but look this team is 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 can can shock and 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 win against anybody on any given Sunday, especially with Herbert playing the way that he is. I would not I would not overlook or sleep on the Chargers at number seven. Number eight is kind of controversial. Not not really, but you know, it is what it is. Um and number eight is the Cowboys. Now the Cowboys are I really like what I'm seeing because I'm seeing them play with more speed. And I really love the fact that they're playing with more speed and getting after things. They got a, a excellent defense now. Um, you, they got uh, Zeke, they're handing Zeke the ball. Uh, Zeke is, you know, when they hand Zeke the ball or they run the ball more, they win games. And that's, that's the secret that they're finding out. But, um, give the hand the ball off to uh, Zeke and you know you're going to start winning games now <clears throat> he does have some help in the backfield and Dak is shooting lights out also uh, so and, and, and they got a strong receiving core but the, I think the di difference this year is the defense and it's uh, really keeping them in the games uh, with interceptions and things like that and I love the, the pace that they're playing in they are going to be something that teams are going to have to deal with. And 
it's not going to be a walk in the park. The, the Cowboys are the truth this year. And I, I ain't a Cowboys fan, so to speak, but I give them their props. Um, I don't want my team to face them. I'm not going to tell you who my team is, but um, I, I see them being very competitive uh, in the NFC. And uh, if you sleep on them, you may take a L. I got the Cowboys at number eight. Number nine, I got the Titans. Um, if you know history, if, if you know, uh, if you know uh, Henry, this guy is a beast, a monster. Uh, he, he's a whole bunch of, you know, pronouns. I mean, he's, the guy is awesome because he's so big, but he still can run very fast. I mean, the Titans really are not getting much help from their receiving core. Um, A.J. Brown, he was hurt for a while, so he didn't really do a lot of, uh, you know, catching or, or, or work in the, in the receiving end. And Tannehill has practically been, you know, quiet this whole time. Uh, but I tell you that Derrick Henry, he's a monster. He's a giant, you know, and um, he's a Titan. And the guy is really carrying the team as far as I could see right now. Uh, they still got to get better at defense. They still got to get uh, A.J. Brown going. Uh, but after that, um, I think they'll be fine. Uh, but that's why I have them, the Titans, at number nine. Number 10, you know, some some might have a problem with this and I'm cool with that, but number 10 is the Chiefs. And the reason why I got the Chiefs, like I know the Chiefs don't have the record that some of the other teams have, like the Raiders and, 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 and other teams, but you know, they're only sitting at 500 right now. But I believe that Mahomes can right the ship. If anybody can right the ship, I believe Mahomes and and Reed uh, can right the ship. Now, their defense really regressed this year. Their defense really regressed. Um, let's see Let's see if they can bring that back and, and correct that and get ready uh, to win some games because I, I don't necessarily want to bet against the Chiefs because they got so much talent on, on especially the offensive side of the ball. But uh, the defense really has to get its act together. I really believe that that's a big reason why they're at three and three. And look, Mahomes is really not playing Mahomes' uh, talent. He, he's not playing up to his full potential, if you ask me. He could do better in his QBing. But at the same time, the defense, with a defense like that, it's hard to keep fighting back all the time. Um, but I, I, that's why I had them at number 10. I mean, they did, they're did. they only a couple of years removed from the Super Bowl themselves. So I would have to go with the Chiefs at number 10. I think they could still right the ship. And there you have it. Uh, those are the power rankings as of the day of this recording. Check in every week because I'm going to tell you, people can move up on the list people can fall off of the list it all it, it all can change in just one week so tune back in next week for an updated power ranking and since the bmr covered it now it's official and don't forget click that link to click that like click that share click that subscribe and like i said since the bmr covered it now it's official Peace.